All right, let's get back uh, to this agreement here. We're bringing in Mike Eppel, and uh, we're learning more about what it really means. You heard Tammy uh, out in Oshawa, where, yes, auto is king. Mm -hmm. uh, let's break down the rest of it and how the markets are reacting. Good morning. Well, the markets are, are liking the news. Uh, Melanie, good morning. Uh, we've got the Canadian dollar, in fact, at a four-and-a-half-month high. The U.S. stock futures are sharply higher because it alleviates some of the, the risk that there would be all of a sudden a, a jolt to the economic uh, well-being of North America without a trade agreement in place. But in fact, we've got one now. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean there aren't still risks involved with this because one of the uh, main gives by Canada has been to allow the U.S. more access to Canada's dairy market. And that had been, you know, in the preamble to all of this, a non-starter with Quebec specifically, where there's 50% of the dairy market in, in that province specifically. And uh, the uh, premier of the province, Philippe Curard, has said, you know, that they would challenge it in court if there was more access allowed. So this is, again, going forward, something certainly to watch. And today is election day in Quebec. So we may see some uh, reaction from voters in that province. But having said all of that, it is a positive. It's a, a win, certainly, for U.S. President Donald Trump. We, we maintain certain things that we were looking for, the dispute resolution, the fact that this is not going to be renegotiated after just five years. And markets are breathing a bit of a a sigh of relief this morning and uh, moving stocks and currencies and bonds all sharply higher in the early going. Other things we're watching this morning include a uh, quick settlement by Elon Musk on those fraud allegations related to that ill-advised tweet that he put out in August about taking Tesla private at $420 per share, said the funding was secured. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission said, yeah, there was no proof of that. And it accused uh, Musk of fraud. And uh, Musk settled $20 million uh, payment to the SEC, but not admitting to any guilt necessarily. But he is going to be no longer the chairman of the board at Tesla, will remain as the CEO, but they will be bringing in some new upper management. And big goings on in the Canadian energy sector to start this day. We've got a big deal announced by Husky Energy, or at least a, a hostile bid for Meg Energy, could be worth north of $6 billion. And we could also hear today about a massive uh, energy project on Canada's west coast with Royal Dutch Shell perhaps uh, going forward with a $31 billion liquefied natural gas project. So uh, a win for uh, uh, the uh, Trudeau government, certainly on the energy file and the trade file as well. That's the latest in business this morning. We'll be back after this.